Welcome, my friends. Today is the day I'm going to taste my new item from One Wind. And this is One Wind's windsock. So, today is quite windy, so it's a great opportunity to test this bad boy out. So, let's set up a hammock and let's see what is this thing all about. So, peace! So hammock is ready. So these trees are quite apart, seven to eight meters. So I've placed my straps as high as I could on these trees. I used another stick to push it up, but still my ridge line is super strong. So that's good that this hammock has adjustable ridge line so I can take a little bit load off. Okay, let's put this bad boy on. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the specs of this product on the screen. So the first step is unpacking, of course. Let's do this. This windsock comes in this stuff sack. It's very thin, very light material. So this stuff sack is attached to the windsock itself, so you cannot lose it. That's good. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's inside. Woo. You can buy two versions. I choose my with the zippers. So you can buy another one without zippers. So the entrance in your hammock is from the bottom. This windsock also has entrance from the bottom. And also you can use these zippers. So the one end is quite small. So this is the foot end. And the other one is a lot bigger. Also it has two windows with a bug net. So these windows providing you a little bit view outside and it deals with the condensation. As it for setting up, you need to take this big end and place your hammock inside from the foot end. So it goes like this. At first you stick your hammock through the bigger end and right to the to the smaller end. So this small end is foot end. So I can cinch it like that. So that's it. Of course while you are not using, you can leave it as it is, like this. Maybe to fix something like this, so that it's not bordering you. And when you need it, just place it all over your hammock and your underquilts, everything, even the ridge line, everything stays inside. Something like this. So you put all your hammock inside. Everything, with underquilt, everything and cinch the end and it also has this entrance from the bottom so you can cinch it too or sometimes you can leave it a little bit open for your airflow so something like this So it has these two windows, one on each side. So that's our head side and no windows on the foot end. So like I said, the foot end is that smallest end and head end was that big one. I've chosen zippered version. So there's the two zippers SBS. So they look nice. So I will check everything better tomorrow in the morning. So quality seems very nice. Of course, I will change these zipper handles to the paracord because I like quite zippers, you know. And there's the inside of your cocoon. <laughs> yeah, today's quite windy. It will be great test. So let's try this thing out. Yeah, these are my winter barefoot boots.
<laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's hop in. So this is how it looks from the inside. It needs a little bit tuning because it's quite wobbly now. <laughs> so it has some some sort of attachment points here. I don't know how you attach this one to something. But this should be for attaching to the ridge line, I think. It would be the best. Here's the windows. So there is a fresh air inside, so that's working. And I feel quite warm inside already. <laughs> I also brought a thermometer so I can know the difference between outside and inside. <laughs> Here is this gap. I will try to cinch it. Maybe it will be a tighter fit. I will try. I think I need to adjust this windsock a little bit further down to my feet side. It's quite loose now. But it's perfect on the head end because I have these windows just straight next to my face. So I think I need to make some tuning for the foot end. So let's do this. So I pulled out this foot end a little bit to the carabiner. So it's now here. Before it was here, now it's there. So I pull it a little bit to the side of the carabiner. It looks better now. Let's hop in and see what's the difference now. So that's very good that I decided to take the zippered version because it's very easy, very nice. <laughs> So yeah, it's much better now. So it needs a little bit tuning, of course. Yeah, so far I like it. <laughs> but I think maybe I can use some small carabiner here to clip it in the place because this whole sock tends to rotate around. That's annoying. So actually I have carabiner Something like this. I'm not sure why it's rotating so badly. So that's only one annoying thing about this sock, that this sock rotates itself around. But like I said, here is two attachment points, so I can definitely use those to fix it in place. Okay, so there is a three attachment points, one in the middle, another one on the foot end, and the third one on the head end. Like you see, it's rotating. It should be like this, okay? But it tends to rotate around like this. So, this will be the real test of this product. Today is very windy and I'm going to test it only with my autumn sleeping bag, Nautilus, with a comfort rating of 3 degrees Celsius. And I have my liner with me, but I'm not going to use it. And also I'm going to wear only my thin base layer, my beanie and thermal socks. If it will be cold, I will add something or liner or more clothes. At the moment temperature outside is 9.9 .9 degrees Celsius and humidity is 80.9%. So on the weather forecast saying that tonight the lowest temperature should be around 4 degrees Celsius. So it's very close to my limit of my sleeping bag. In 3 degrees Celsius in that sleeping bag starting to get uncomfortable. That's inside the tent. So we'll see about this windsock. But what I can say now, I already feel very warm inside. Actually, it's very nice. Two things I'm gonna upgrade. So one is zippers, but that's me. I just like the paracord zippers. 
Another thing is those attachment points, so that this sock is not turning around. But it's a very simple solution. Just use two small carabiners. Just one on the foot end, another one on the head end, that's it. I think it will do. I actually have two small carabiners with me, so I can just do it. It's no problem. So, as it goes for me, I'm going to have some tea, eat some ramen and go to sleep. And I'm gonna put this windsock on a real test. And I will tell you all my thoughts about this windsock in the morning. So, see you then, tomorrow. Good morning my friends, this was a very cold night. At the moment temperature is minus one degree Celsius. <laughs> but this night was without a wind. It's a beautiful morning. So the first good thing about this winter sock is these windows. These windows are very nice. You can easily see stars and the beautiful sight outside. Through this window I saw beautiful moon and the stars. Very nice. Actually at first I thought this will be disadvantage for this winter sock that the, I will not be able to see the stars and so on but no. Actually these windows are quite okay size. When you are inside you can peek to all the sides and you can see everything. Everything is cool. Super nice. So the next thing, this wind sock itself is very light and it blocks wind, totally blocks wind. The temperature difference between inside and outside was from 5 to 7 degrees Celsius. Wow, super cool. Color, amazing. The zipper entrance, also amazing. Very easy to use. But like I said before, I'm going to change these noisy zippers to paracords. But that's not a defect, that it's just me. I like that style. So, about the cones using this windsock. This windsock tends to rotate itself around. There is inside some attachment points, but you need some extra to attach it to your ridge line because they are only loops. So, but I'm a technical guy and I want to say one thing, one wind. Listen me out. Look, I'll show you. So the thing is, this whole windsock is made from very thin, very light material, okay? So this is the top part of this windsock. So there is that one attachment point, but there is no reinforcements for that. So in stronger winds and 
and also after some time of using it will tear holes in there definitely so the my suggestions is one make some reinforcements over here where is those attachment points second one it's better not to use the loops but maybe some kind of rope or actually yeah you can you can make this loop a little bit longer and cut it to half so that it's a two part so i can tie them together around the ridge line okay but my biggest suggestion is to make some around this thick reinforcement some kind of ripstop material or something the same color whatever so my suggestion is to make like a reinforcement like this wide and then from the inside attaching some three or four attachment points that will be very nice i'm going to do that myself so yeah one wind i'm suggesting you to do so because this material is very thin in strong winds it will tear so that's my suggestions to upgrade this i will do it myself hello that's future me <laughs> i want to show you upgrades i did to this windsock and i also want to mention another one cone of this product i barely can fit my windsock in this this is too small one wind i'm suggesting you to make this stuff like bigger so in my opinion this windsock have three problems all these problems can be solved so one of them is the size of this stuff sack oh my god it's too narrow it's too small i barely can fit the windsock inside it's just pain to get it in i need to stuff it with the power you know it's i could see it's super hard it's not good so one wind please make these stuff sacks bigger i would say around two centimeters longer and two centimeters wider and it will be enough yeah something like that so the second one cone of this product it has no attachment points so i mean the really nice attachment points to the ridge line from the inside okay but i have solution for this i add these straps i can tie to my ridge line now like you see super duper it's 50 centimeters from the end and there's a total four of them it's a one here it's one here so it's here and again this last one is also 50 centimeters from the end i use the ripstop material to make these attachment points okay and the third cone is that it has no reinforcement for the ridge line. One wind, listen me up. This is very nice upgrade to this windsock. Like you see here, this is reinforcement line. Now it will be very nice. So I'm suggesting you to make this way. It will be much nicer. So for this project, I used like this type of tape. It's some kind of Dacron material or something. So this is a great reinforcement. So these are three things you need to get deal with, okay? <laughs> it's easy fix i will show you everything in this video you need to know how to make it <laughs> super easy super simple here you go so here you can see how i attach it reinforcement tape just on the middle this is this one 50 millimeters rips tape you can definitely get it in sewing shops so this tape is lightweight and it's very good for reinforcement so I attached reinforcement from the inside and I also attached new attachment points, these ones. And actually I made five attachment points. Before I said that I attached only 50 centimeters from the ends, yeah, but I decided to attach this one over here. So this is the head end and the wider part of this wind sock, okay? So I'm gonna tell you why I attached this one too. This is especially for those kind of situations when you need more airflow inside. So I can attach this one to the ridge line, like so. That way I can leave this end open for more airflow. But I didn't attach this to a smaller end because there is no point to doing that over there. Here you can see I made these attachment points from the ripstop material and just sew it here in the middle. Okay, that's it. And the whole purpose of it, I can attach it now to the ridge line and do it like a shoelaces, you know. That's it very nice so the second attachment point is 50 centimeters from the end okay so like i said i have five attachment points one just straight to the wider end 
here's also 50 centimeters And then two, like here, here's the middle part. So again, it goes like that. On the wider end is attachment point. There is no attachment straps on the narrow end. And then another two attachment points, but not on the middle. Because on the middle, there will be my headlamp and uh, stuff like that. So I decided to make it that way. So there is four attachment straps. I think it will be enough, two on the ends and two in the middle part here. And also this fifth attachment point. But this attachment point is only for those cases when you need to maybe leave one end open for more airflow. But normally there is no need for attaching this one because it will hold up with this cinch strap over here. Okay? So, about these straps. I made these straps 35 centimeters long. It's a one-piece strap with the attachment point in the middle. But you can also do here a, like rectangular sewing or square, something like that. I made it simple, just like that. So it's a single piece, 35 centimeters long, and it's two centimeters wide. And I've just used this ripstop material. You can use some nylon, something. And of course, all these materials should be synthetic, including the thread you are sewing with. Otherwise you can introduce some mold inside, okay? It's a camping gear and you need to use some synthetic stuff, okay? So one wind, that's my suggestion for you. Okay, back to the video. Look how beautiful morning sun with the fog. Nice one. About the temperature, I was quite cold all night because I was testing everything as maximum thin layers as possible because I want to know the limits of everything. So when I used only my autumn sleeping bag, the temperature was around 4 degrees Celsius. So that's actually close to the limit and I already felt some coldness. And then I added my liner and then temperature dropped to minus one. <laughs> Again past the limit. So for me this was cold night. But definitely I felt some warmth from the top because of this windsock. It makes a lot of difference. Yeah, definitely. I didn't feel any loss from the top, but I felt some cold from the bottom. So I think this under quilt is still zero degrees, okay. And then I need to add something. But that's strange. I saw on the internet that, that other people use the about the same thickness under quilts, synthetic ones, or even wool blankets, even closer to minus seven or something, or minus ten. I don't know, maybe maybe that's humidity. Now it's very humid, like you see it's fog everywhere. About the condensation, there was no condensation all night. Only closer to the morning there was condensation on the walls inside. But those windows are making a great difference. Believe me, they are cool. This windsock is very cool. So, would I recommend this product to anybody? Definitely yes. This is cool thing. But like I said, from my opinion, it needs some technical upgrades like that reinforcement on the middle part because this is thin material and it will rub off on your ridge line so so i'm gonna sew myself reinforcements from the ripstop and i will place some attachment points inside i think i will make more like three I think I will make more like three attachment points because like I saw now it's not enough. I think I will put four. So like one here, another there, then here and on the end. I saw the three attachment points is, is quite of okay but uh, it would be better for. So that's my opinion. So like I said before, one wind. If you see this video, please make some upgrades. It will be very nice. Then this windsock will be a top notch thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you can use it as it is. It's okay. Wow, it's a beautiful morning. I will tell you a little story. So 
I was cold all night, yeah. I slept two hours, then I felt some coldness. Then I look at the temperature and it was limit of my sleeping bag. Then I added fleece jacket. It got better, but I still felt some coldness. So I tried to sleep maybe one hour, I think. No, two, two hours, yeah. I even saw some dreams, <laughs> yeah. But I don't remember them, hmm. yeah. Those dreams are the strange things. You need to write them down as soon as you wake up. <laughs> so then I added fleece liner and it got quite warm. I felt some coldness from the beneath because my body already was cold. I think that's why. I also ate some chocolate or some snacks. But then I look in the window and I saw this beautiful fog. And it was around 7 o'clock in the morning, I think. No, it was closer to 8. <laughs> so now it's 9. So it was maybe 40 minutes past 7 or something. So then I saw this beautiful fog. <laughs> and I couldn't resist. I thought, no, I need to get out. But actually that was the moment I felt warm at last. And I thought, oh no, I'm so lazy. I want to sleep maybe one or two hours because now it's very comfortable. But no, you know, I'm an artist. <laughs> I need to shoot these beautiful sights, you know, the fog, everything. Do some B-rolls, you know. No, 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 I need to get out. <laughs> yeah, and I'm happy that I did that. Yeah. So, that's it for this video. I hope you like this one and I hope it will help you decide if you need this windsock or not. But I'm suggesting you, this is cool thing. <laughs> With little upgrades, it will be superior thing. <laughs> it makes a lot of difference and it's super nice looking. Cocoon. <laughs> okay, see you on the next video. Bye.